Hi viewers, today I have come up with a very interesting case for you. And this case is Cartigener syndrome. Most of you would have heard about this. This syndrome is characterized by a classical triad that is bronchiectasis, chronic sinusites or repeated sinusites and situs inversus. If we see the prevalence of this condition, it is about 1 in 10,000 to 20,000. It's very rare. It involves or it is linked with more than 100 genes. It shows an autosomal recessive pattern. That means both the parents, father as well as mother, needs to carry or to pass a mutated gene to have this particular disease or syndrome. If you see, basically they have, the problem is at ciliary level. So they are cilia. Cilia is basically a motile structure which is present in our respiratory tract to push out the mucus or to push out the secretions from our lungs to the exterior. And the same mechanism or the same cilia is also present in the tail of the sperm, which basically gives the movement or propels the sperm. When there is a defect in this ciliary structure, that's an absence of one protein that's called dynein protein, which is basically important constituent of the structure of the cilia for the movement. So these patients also suffer from infertility, be it males or be it females. So in males, there is a uh, condition which is called primary ciliary dyskinesia. They will have all, the, almost all the sperms will be immotile. So like this, there was one very interesting case. This patient walked in our clinic in 2000. 22 with the history of primary infertility. He also verbally he revealed that he has situs inversus. It's a very unique congenital abnormality where there is mirror image transposition of thoracic as well as abdominal organs. So the organs which are present on the left side, it will be present for them on the right side. So everything is reverse. We started working on this case. When we check the day two parameters, FSH, LH, E2, prolactin, uh, thyroid, every parameter was normal except AMH. AMH was surprisingly very low. It was 0.516 poor ovarian reserve. We took a decision to stimulate with this antagonist protocol. She was stimulated. We started the stimulation on 1st October 2022 and the oocyte retrieval was planned on 11th of October 2022. We got 12 oocytes. Out of 12 oocytes, six were M2s, four were GVs and two were M1s. We had already planned to also give a try with the TISA sample. We first collected the ejaculated sample and the next we planned for TISA sample. We looked into both. We exposed the sperm to the pentoxyphylum, which is a sperm activator. But unfortunately, we could not see any movement in the sperm. Oocytes were injected with rigor mortis sign or probably the minimal twitching movement between the head and the neck. We injected with those. On the day one, fortunately, all the six oocytes had fertilized. And on day three, the status was we had four eight cell grade A and two six cell grade B embryos. So we decided to freeze three eight cell grade A, that's good quality embryos, and rest three embryos, which is one eight cell grade A and two six cell grade B. We plan to take it to the, to the blastocyst. And happily, we got three blastocysts with two good grades, and one was poor grade. One was one four AA, other one was one five AA and the third one was 1-3-BB grade. First transfer was done on 21st of November. And after two weeks when performed we beta HCG, unfortunately it came negative. So we were relying on one, one more, one last hope, which was the blastocysts with us. And that second FET was planned on 15th of March. After two weeks, when we checked the beta HCG, the value was more than 1800. We were all thrilled to see this. And subsequently the scans, we were happy to see the cardiac activity and it was single done. We were actually expecting twin and it continued with all NIPT tests were normal, antenatal scans were normal, all subsequent reports and you know the diagnostics were everything was normal. Finally, on 25th November 2023, we got a good news that the patient has delivered a beautiful baby girl, everything normal, absolutely normal. There was no situs inversus. The couple is very happy. It's been now almost more than a year. Now couple is again planning for one more cycle. Hope to share you such successful and very exciting stories with you again and again. And you also follow such strategies to give them these hopes and help a lot of couples. Thank you very much.